Vyacheslav Krasilnikov and Konstantin Semenov. And here is little brother Naslin. Starting it off, serving Vitor Philippe. And there you go, Naslin Diaz. When you're seven feet tall, you don't have to make too many steps to get to a cut shot. You can just kind of fall over. Oh, another perfect dig from Philippe. Not a perfect one. Oh, the jump set from Cuba. Look at the Cubans getting creative. I'm sitting back. I'm enjoying this matchup. This is going to be a phenomenal beach volleyball match. And Lima, does he find the line? Yes, he does. Humongous wrist away line from Nazan Diaz. Goodness gracious. First set to try to get a read on Elayo and Diaz, who, frankly, the, the read is they're physical. They just they swing at virtually everything. And there you can see Diaz. Hybrid serve from Lima, handled very well by Diaz. And that is just a vicious line turn. Match up at the net for both Lima and Philippe, whoever happens to be up there. D side out wise when they're in system that I think Vitor Philippe is gonna have to get something going from the service line. And there you go, Elio just going up and over the block of Hinato Lima. You just hear the, the growl after from Elio. Big line swing from Jorge Elayo. We're all tied up, 11 apiece. That's just a big, big swing from Nazlan Diaz. 20 years old, love to see them breaking out on the Beach Pro Tour. This is where these guys belong, and they are proving it. Huge swing from Elayo. My goodness. As a defensive team, I mean, he's six feet. Oh, that's just beautiful. Watching Hanato Lima play beach volleyball, kind of watching water run through a stream. It's just so, they have to find a way to manufacture points somehow. We have had now 14 straight side outs between these teams. And just another boomer. We couldn't quite handle that one. There's a big move into the angle from Elia. You can hear the celebration. And that might be the break that Cuba needs. You can see the big press. I think you need to serve tough if you're Hinato Lima. These float serves have not been doing enough damage, have not been getting them out of system enough. And when they've been in system, they've been unstoppable, as you can see right there. Jorge Elia, the ooh, at the bottom of that. And there's a nice little baby line around the block of Elio. Elio. And again, that's it for it. This has been a side out battle between Brazil and Cuba. That's a huge option. My goodness. Look at the excitement from Cuba. And the trickle ace. Can they stop this run from Brazil right off the bat? And that is in from Naslan Diaz. Both Brazilian players, and it was out of boundaries for Cuba's Naslan Diaz and Jorge Alayo. And that is a rip, absolute ripper from Hinato Lima. A deep float serve. I like that move a lot from Philippe. And there's Naslam Diaz hitting the line angle that very few in the world can hit. Hitting that in front of the three meter line if there were one. One set away from a berth into the semifinals. Wow. I'd like to see them just try to attack it a little bit more with the jump serve. The rare shot from Naslan Diaz. 
Philippe kind of getting away with one there, playing with fire, dangling that line shot in the vicinity, the airspace of Jorge Alayo. And Vitor Philippe can't quite get on the board. That's the first mistake we've seen from Diaz offensively, and they need to capitalize. And there is no mistake there made by Alayo. Huge block. Red he goes. This is almost a double. Watch how wide his hands get. Answerless on the defensive end and struggling offensively to deal with the massive block of Alayo. And again, Jorge Alayo all over it. I mentioned last time that Philippe tried that baby line. He was playing with fire. Just flies. Look at the hang time from Lyle Wood. Philippe having a little bit of trouble on the right, just moving to the left, giving Cuba a different look. And there's Alayo again. Are you kidding me? You love to see that interaction. Diaz just shrugging. And you love to see him just collect himself before he goes and explodes again. And there is Diaz. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a swing, what a celebration. Oh my gosh. Jorge Alayo. Wow. Gado, as they say in Portuguese, the low line is. And there is Diaz just way over the top. I am in the commentator booth because I cannot physically do it sustainably enough to be on the Beach Pro Tour with these guys right now. And so it's easier said than done, but that is what Philippe needs to do is he needs to keep taking those sharp angle swings. And there's a big angle swing from Vitor Philippe. Huge move into the angle. This is the first sign of trouble we've seen from Cuba. And that, if that's what trouble looks like, well, this Cuban team's pretty darn good. What I'm more interested in, can they continue to play like this? Because the way they've been playing is spectacular. And well, there you go. There you have it. Yes, they can. I've seen this before in the Norseka. I've also seen them have a, a couple not so great matches. Oh, what a dig. From Diaz, sends it over the net. Here's Lima, a very rare chance offensively for Lima. And that's why you don't want this kid touching the ball for four tournaments, for five tournaments, for a season, for two seasons, for an Olympic qualification quad. That is what we will be watching from this Brazilian team as they give up one, now about to give up another. And you can see Diaz a little bit upset with himself. They've played as close to a perfect match as you could really ask for. Putting Vitor Philippe in a phone booth at the net. And there he is again, Jorge Alayo. Holy goodness gracious. Gets smaller and smaller and smaller for Vitor Philippe. Again, swinging that low. End. If you're trying to go low around Jorge Alayo. And there's a nice swing from Philippe. Good dig as well. One of the first digs we've seen. Cuba needing to maintain this focus for just three more points and they will have a shot at a medal. And there is a big line turn from Nazlan Diaz. It, it, the angles that Diaz hits, if you want to get a dig, and as a blocker, it, this is just such a brutal matchup for Brazil. Nice swing from Philippe and third ranked blocker with 23 blocks coming into this match. Andy Benish leading all blockers with 38. And that is just a thumper. It's inevitable in this quarterfinal. Cuba has done an excellent job freezing the 23 year old out of this one, targeting Vitor Philippe as they will do one more time. And that'll be an error. And Cuba into the semifinals in Itapema. And this crowd is silenced.